Hello my beauties and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and today's video is super exciting because it is a collab with my beautiful friend and sister Erica Conga. I will have Erica's video and her channel linked in the description box below for you to go and check her out. If you don't know who she is, please, please go check her out. You will absolutely love her. She is amazing she does such beautiful looks she's gotten so confident with colorful looks now and her true crime videos are just amazing and she does all kinds of videos like makeup looks and um, different like groupings of palettes she does a lot of collabs like favorites she does all different kinds of makeup content and also her true crime series which I believe is one a month. She is just amazing. And she is just the sweetest, most beautiful, genuine person that you could meet. I absolutely adore her. My family adores her. She's my sister. Um, so yes, you will have seen pictures of Erica around if I've done my job properly. Um, yes, please guys, go and check her out if you don't know who she is because you will love her. I guarantee you that. I absolutely adore her. Um, so we decided to do a collab. I have a full face of Timu products that I haven't tried yet. Um, Erica's already done like full videos on Timu makeup product products. Um, so we decided that for me it would be my first time trying Timu makeup um, and for Erica she's going to put them up against her favourites so I'm super excited to watch her video also. Okay so let's get into my full face of Timu makeup and the first thing I have to try is this Hydrating Beauty 3 Colour Base Cream Primer. Um, I'm not sure is that QDQ? Um, yeah this is the primer and I like the look of this so let's have a see oh and it actually comes out with the you can see the three colors well okay then so let's see what this is like so I'm guessing it's meant to be like a bit color correcting as well Here's the three shades in okay well, it definitely feels hydrating. It does, it feels really nice. And it has a, a scent. I wouldn't say it's like overly strong. It's like a florally scent. But yeah. It does feel very nice on my skin and a little goes a long way as I have discovered <laughs> it would just put the rest kind of down my neck <laughs> just because there is excess you don't need much um, well I don't know about colour correcting but I think my skin looks hydrated and it feels really hydrating so yeah okay it's nice okay now I've kind of I've got a foundation and a concealer but I'm pretty sure the concealer is a little bit darker than the foundation but yeah anyways we'll get into that because I have something else to try first that I completely forgot about then um, so I've got this um, cover master XI XI um, in two hashtag <laughs> um but it's like color correctors so you've got your your three shades um i'm only going to be using these two so we've got um the green for redness and then this peachy tone for the dark circles so let's get a little brush okay so I'm going to go with the green first and I'm just going to pop that anywhere where I have extra redness. Um, all okay then. Okay. 
this is very creamy and again a little goes a long way um, and I know you don't want to completely um, blend it in but yeah I do seem to get a lot of redness and I don't know why I don't generally use colour correctors I don't actually own a green colour corrector or a peach one um, well now I do but yeah so at the moment I look a little bit like I have some strange kind of clown like I don't know this is probably why colour correctors scare me right have I covered all of the red I look a bit like a clown okay definitely look a bit like a, a clown <laughs> Drop that now the peach and I'm just grabbing a tiny bit this time yep you really only need a tiny bit these are really creamy really creamy so I'm just gonna and over the the dark ripples. Well, they don't feel heavy or anything. They feel really they're not drying or or anything like that. Okay. Well, <laughs> we'll see how this goes. So, the foundation that I have to try is pop feel pretty fresh hyaluronic hydrating foundation i picked up the shade ff02 i have been super excited to try these things um i think we can all guess what this is a dupe for pretty fresh um yes and it's okay it's quite liquidy so let's see how this looks. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure that this was definitely the right colour. And I'm not sure <laughs> all that green. Okay, so this feels, I'm not sure if it feels more hydrating because I have such a hydrating primer underneath, but, hmm, it's difficult to do side comparisons because I have this green <laughs> everywhere. This is, my face looks like. And then you see this is my skin without the foundation okay well that doesn't look bad at all okay so the pop fill pretty fresh hyaluronic hydrating foundation okay and now the concealer i picked up oh i did actually right i'm gonna go with this one first because this i'm not even sure how they've gotten away with this and if it's allowed but I have the it cosmetics bye bye under eye i love it so i thought oh they've got a dupe so this came and i don't know if you can see but there's just a sticker over there so i'm gonna lift this sticker off and it is covering it cosmetics well just it there but yes and everywhere where it mentions it cosmetics on here there is a sticker over now not just the box guys because the actual product itself has the stickers over where it would say it cosmetics so yeah I'm not really sure how they've gotten away with this but 
yeah is this allowed guys let me know if you know so i'm gonna try and use this the same way i would use the it cosmetics bye bye under eye so a tiny little bit on the back of my hand now let's see what we've got. well it's definitely not the same because the color is not the same and the texture this feels like thinner more liquidy it feels quite hydrating um but yeah it's definitely not it cosmetics by by under eye which leads me to the question of well if it isn't the same product inside then the ingredients list on this box here is not the ingredients of the product itself um, meaning I have absolutely no idea what I am putting under my eyes and I have had to put more on than I would have to put with the it cosmetics bye bye under eye um, so yeah I'm hoping that I don't end up with any kind of reaction to the ingredients but I did on Manara about not trying it but I, I had to I had to um so yeah I mean it looks it looks nice not quite as kind of coveragey as the coveragey it doesn't have as much coverage as the it cosmetics by by under eye um, but yeah okay so that's that and now I have a, fa a foundation I've done that I have a concealer to try and it is the Sace Lady full cover concealer flawless matte long-lasting waterproof in shade 3 I picked this particular one up because I saw Steph Steph's beauty stash use this um, I believe she used it as foundation um, comes a little pump Well, some came out and now nothing's coming out. Um, hello? Why is nothing coming out now? All right then, can we unscrew the lid? No. Aha. Wow, that was a lot of effort. A lot of effort. Okay. So let's go in, in the areas, yeah, it's darker than the, the foundation. Oh my word. Um, okay. I'm just kind of blending it into the foundation because otherwise I'm going to look bizarre. Um, very, very different colours. So I'm, I'm covering most of the foundation with this concealer. Um, okay. Well, it definitely looks like I have caked makeup on hmm yeah not sure that i'm loving that at all okay i'm just going to dampen a sponge so i can go back over it and see if we'll see what we can do so just stay there okay so i have a damp sponge and we're just going to see if we can uh yeah it's definitely helping That's definitely helping. <laughs> well, it's definitely not my favourite. And I wouldn't say that everything that I wanted covered is particularly covered. But it's okay. 
It's okay. Right, where are we at now? Okay, so I got this Carla Secret Concealer and Blush Cream Palette that looks like this, thinking I would be able to use the concealer for contour. They looked a bit deeper on the thing. Um, so yeah, we're going to give it a go. I'm going to try and use this as contour. Let's see. I don't know if it's going to be deep enough or not. Hmm. Maybe a little bit. Yeah, it's not, not too bad. Yeah, I can definitely feel that I have a lot on my face. Definitely. It seems pretty creamy and doing a pretty good job. It looks a lot nicer on the skin than the other products. Maybe I should have tried to use this as foundation. Um, okay. Well, not bad. I'm not going to be using the blushes, cream blushes from here today because I have a separate one. Um, so yeah, I don't know how much I've really tested out for you when it comes to this. Um, but yeah, that seemed really nice. Now I have this cream blush stick and it's the, I'm not sure how you'd say it, he Hecky, Hessy Beauty makeup stick and I have the shade Rosie. It's got a brush on one end which I won't use because I, I don't like this kind of brushes. And then this is the blush and it looks like it's a dupe for another blush that I have and um, that I actually really love. So I'm just gonna take some of it on a brush like so. And then we're going to, ooh, okay. Well, that's more pigmented than I was expecting. A lot more pigmented than I was expecting. And that looks really nice. It's not lifting the foundation or anything. Okay. Well, this, this looking nice. It's definitely creamy and easy to blend out. Hmm. Yeah, I, I love the look of that. That's beautiful. That is really beautiful. So yeah, that's the Hessie or Hecky Beauty makeup stick. So I did pick up um, this powder, particularly because it looks like a, a dupe. I think we all know which one. Um, and this is he Hexy Loose Powder Makeup. Um, it's H-E-Y-X-I. And I have the shade 01 01 hashtag and open this up oh, it's got a little puff in it um i'm not generally the biggest fan of these things but i will you i'm i'm gonna be good i'm gonna use the powder puff that comes with it i'm just gonna dab directly into what I have on the lid and let's have a see Well, that's definitely made it look 
better. That's okay. Like this was meant to be. Take my hand. I feel my heart beat. I don't want this moment to stop. That's definitely looking better. You can definitely see I have a lot of makeup on my face. But the powder definitely helped kind of settle that a little bit. So yeah, so far, so good. All right, I'm going to stick some contour on just to kind of shape my face a bit better. Um, so I've got this Call Calling. Call Calling, it says on it. And it doesn't say anything else. Okay. And it looks like this. And I am going to be using the contour shade up here and maybe a bit of the bronzer. But we're going to go in with the contour first. Ooh. Looks to be pretty pigmented. Yeah, it is. Oh, that's a nice colour contour shade actually. Okay. It is very pigmented, so yeah, you definitely only need to tap in. It's definitely a good cool toned contour shade. I do look a bit cake facey, but seems to be coming together pretty okay so I'm just going to dip into the bronzer shade just a little bit and just take that right off the contour yeah okay that looks pretty nice I'm gonna go into the lighter shade in here and just pop that a little bit under my eyes just to brighten okay yeah it's not heavy cakey powder it's quite nice i'm just going to use that to brighten up a few areas Okay, well, well, this little baby, I'm quite like him. Nice. Okay, so we are on to brows. I did pick up this came with the little brush, but I'm not going to use this little brush because I picked up this brush, um, which apparently makes hair like strokes um so the pomade is the vincina brow shaping in shade 04 chocolate and looks like this and then i'm just gonna oh crikey that is very pigmented so i'm just gonna kind of dab in the lid and then we're gonna see if this actually does do brow hair strokes wow it's very creamy and you pick up a lot just by touching it So you definitely do need to dab it off. No need to fight it. I cannot hide it. We won't regret it. So come with me, maybe woman to be a perfect melody. I don't want this moment. 
Definitely a warmer shade than I would usually use. I can't remember if this one did have black. I think I didn't choose the black because it did look like black, black, not like. Because with a lot of pomades, it says black and it's like a deep dark brown, which is what really suits me. Um, but yeah, this is. very warm toned okay well I have brows they're very very warm toned um, and this is super super creamy I, I had to really kind of smudge it in the lid to get the majority off of the brush um, but it just seemed to be setting itself down as well so I'm intrigued to see how these last and um, yeah, obviously if this is any good, I might have to look at the black shade. Um, yeah, this is from Vincina, Vincina. So, the next thing I have to try is an eyeshadow primer. This is a full coverage waterproof one by Aviel. Aviel, in the shade 02 hashtag. It says medium. Yeah. Um, I don't believe it said medium on the site though. I think it was just 02. Yeah. So it's a little tube like this, so I'm just going to pop some just on the back of my hand there. I think we know what this is duping. Let's see what it works like. Okay. It's a little thicker than I was expecting. It is more like a concealer consistency and it definitely covers everything it does have a like a florally scent to it which is bizarre for an eye primer <laughs> yeah it is like a florally scent And it's very tacky feeling. Okay. Just, you don't need much of that at all. Let's just tap it in and see it feels okay. That doesn't feel bad at all. It is very tacky. Very tacky. Seems okay so far. Um, so. The eyeshadow palette I picked up, um, I picked it up because it looked like a dupe for the Natasha Denona Retro palette, which I do have. And this is the Tinf Glam palette. I don't know how you pronounce that. And then this is what she looks like. Okay, so where are we going to start? I think I'm going to start by going into this shade here. And I'm going to take that in the outer V here. Okay. I am really kind of tapping my brush into the shadow to pick it up, but it seems like a pretty nice, nice shade. Appear to be going patchy at all. It just seems like a really nice. I'm not mad at that at all. That's actually performing pretty nicely. I don't know what I was expecting, whether I was expecting for it to be the same as the kind of She Glam eyeshadow formula, um, which isn't my favourite at all. That's just performed beautifully. 
I'm not mad at that at all. That looks really nice, actually. Okay. So I think next I'm gonna go into that shade there. And then I'm gonna take this on the inner part here. It's actually performing a lot better than I was expecting. It's blending really nicely. It's definitely more buildable, but I don't mind that. I'm not having to work too hard to to get the pigment or or to blend this surprisingly very pretty okay i'm just going to go back in with the brush i used for that first shade and just kind of bring that back a bit and blend it into the other shade which is doing really really well really well i'm not mad at that at all that looks beautiful okay i'm just going to use those same two shades to go under my eyes well i'm really surprised at how well this is performing really surprised it's going to be interesting to see how the shimmers perform. Okay, so I've also picked up a gl glitter primer and this is the Handayan glitter primer. I think we can see what this is a dupe of. Um, so let's see. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. It looks different. So let's pop this on. And see what this does. I wasn't expecting it to kind of have a colour at all. So I'm going to, for the lid, I'm going to go into this shade up here. I'm not picking up the easiest on this brush. Hmm, not picking up on that brush very well at all. Let's try a fluffier brush. Oh, that's better. Well, this glitter primer is extremely tacky. I'm actually quite impressed so far. And that's definitely got some sparkle. It's quite a chunky, chunky shimmer. Quite textured. I think it's looking quite nice. It's definitely packing a bigger punch than I thought it was going to. I think this eyeshadow palette is actually quite surprising me. That's, that actually looks really pretty. Okay, so I'm just going to go back into that deeper matte, the first one we used. See if I can blend this edge a little bit it's not such a harsh line i don't think it looks bad but yeah it's not blending well it's a matte that may be the glitter primer 
because it's very very tacky the glitter primer so it may be that it's just literally glued it down but I'm not mad at that I'm not mad at it okay so let's go with for my inner corner and the inner part of my lower lash line I'm gonna go in to this shade here in the middle pop that and then bring that down okay this one's slightly less chunky it's got different textures in this palette cat hair Ooh, that's actually looking pretty good um so i've got this eyeliner it's a felt tip eyeliner eyeliner pen uh bobaini it looks like it's got a fairly good pointy tip so let's give this a go okay it's definitely very black that's not bad that was easy to use it's really black okay well i have no complaints there so let's move on to the mascara and i i'm going to admit i got this for the packaging because i think it looks so cool <laughs> this is the vicious waterproof mascara i don't usually wear waterproof mascaras but it just seemed that all of their mascaras were waterproof so oh wow the size of that brush that's bigger than my eye well i'm not going to put another layer on but it's it doesn't seem bad at all okay i had to go for lashes just because i love my lashes um so i've picked up this 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 these i've picked up these <laughs> my word it just says move um and then also this uh waterproof eyelash adhesive um comes with a pair of tweezers I'm going to put these on off camera just because this video is going to be long enough as it is. So I'll get these on and then I'll come back and we'll continue. Okay, so they were actually really easy to apply. They're the clear band um, and they're very natural looking, which isn't usually what I go for. I like big lashes, but they do look very pretty. And if you're looking for more natural looking lashes, they do look beautiful and the glue appears to have worked very well obviously time will tell but so far so good okay so i did pick up a it says eyeliner glue pen but there's no glue in it it's a like eyeliner pencil um and it's a like shifty colored one apparently and it's from novo um so pop this oh okay when i swatched it on my hand it seemed hard to get any pigment off but that has just gone into my waterline really nicely Um, I did put it on my hand and leave it for a second and then try to wash it off and I would definitely say it is waterproof so I am expecting this to last well in the waterline yeah it's uh that looks really pretty 
Okay. I wasn't actually, after swatching it, I wasn't expecting this to work or to like it, but I think that does look really pretty. Now, somehow I've got to do my lashes with this humongous brush. Um, this is the biggest mascara wand I have ever seen. And it is not easy to get close, but not too close. Wow. That wasn't actually too bad, but yeah, the, the wand on this mascara is huge. Absolutely huge. So, let's move on to blush. So, I picked up this one because I saw Steph's Beauty Stash. Steph used this and love it. And it's the CDE. It says Highlight. Um, I love this packaging. How beautiful is that? And then if I can get into it, it's not easy to open this. This is what the blush looks like. That is raised. Look at that. Very, very pretty. Very, very pretty. Um, so let's give that a go. That is very pretty. That is really pretty. Look at that. Okay. And it's quite well pigmented too. Ooh. Yeah, I'm... Um, I'm not mad at this at all. I did have high hopes for this, obviously, because I saw Steph, Steph's Beauty Stash, use and love this. So, ooh. That is a very pretty glowy blush okay yeah that is so pretty i love how that's looking and then for highlighter i picked up the handayan diamond highlighting powder in shade three um this also just because i saw steph steph's beauty stash use it and it is this beautiful pink shade let's give this a go Ooh. oh okay well all right then Ooh. oh That is a you can see me from space highlighter. That is beautiful. Some of that down center of my nose. I think it's the warm brows that's really kind of throwing me off. Um, I'm also going to pop some of that highlighter up under my brow. This is stunning, absolutely stunning. Ooh. I'm just gonna go back over with the blush brush just to blend them together. Oh, I feel like a glowing princess, glowing goddess. I love the look of that. That looks so pretty. Just look at that shine. So finally, I have this lipstick to try. It's uh, by Nice Face and it's in the shade 16. And I picked this specifically to go with the eyeshadow palette. Ooh, 
I love the feel of this lipstick. It is drying down. It doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't feel like I've got anything on my lips. Yeah, I'm, I love how it's looking. Okay, so with this being the finished look, what do I think? Well, I think that the base, my base looks really kind of cakey. I do feel a bit cakey. Um, but yeah, overall, I'm happy with the look. I'm just going to let you know what I think of everything I tried and then we'll wrap up. So, the primer, QDQ Hydrating Beauty 3 Colour Base Cream. This felt beautiful on my skin and my skin looked really hydrated after putting it on. So yeah, so far I would say that I'm looking forward to using this again. I will be using that again. Um, the foundation. The Pop Fill Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Hydrating Foundation. I'm going to have to try this again with a different primer, with different concealer, etc. Um, my initial thoughts, uh, I'm not really sure I like it, but I will give it another go. Yeah, it didn't kind of wow me. The Full Cover Concealer from Sace Lady. I don't know how you pronounce that. Um, this is a bit deep i think for me maybe or it might just be because it's like a couple of shades deeper than the foundation but i'm again going to give this another go with different products but i wasn't initially wowed but we'll see we'll see the cover master from xixi um in two hashtag the colour corrector little mini palette this felt really nice really creamy a little bit goes a long way um yeah i can definitely see me using this again just with a lighter hand so so far i'm i'm enjoying this the carla secret concealer and blush cream palette if i can get this open um, obviously I only tried this shade as a contour because I had another concealer and cream blush um, so yeah I can't really pass much comment on this but yeah and um, this did seem to apply and blend out really nicely so so far so good but yes I will be testing this out some more the Hecky Hesse Beauty the cream blush stick in the shade rosy this is beautiful i really 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 love this um the color's beautiful it applied nicely blended out nicely it's nicely pigmented um so yeah i was really impressed with with this blush stick the bye bye under eye um definitely not the same formula so yeah i i don't know if well the ingredients list on this is not going to reflect what's in it is it so i i don't know how they're getting away with this is it actually allowed who knows um i did actually enjoy it and it did look nice under my eyes um different consistency to the bye bye under eye from it cosmetics um I did enjoy it but um, I feel a bit kind of icky about it because yeah it's it cosmetics packaging um but yeah I enjoyed using it not sure I agree with them using the packaging um so let's move on to powder so this Hexi Hey XI the loose makeup powder um, this is in the shade 01 hashtag. Um, this was really nice. This, I think, kind of saved the base a lot. Um, it smoothed everything out, blurred. I actually really rate this. Um, so yeah, I will be using this with different foundations. 
to see if I do actually have a nice dupe for one of my favourites. So far, I'm, it's looking likely. Looking likely. Um, the little kind of contour call calling <laughs> little palette. Um, I used all three of the matte shades. So I used the contour, the bronze, and then this for brightening. Um, I thought it looked really beautiful. This is such a, a really nice cool tone contour shade. So yeah, impressed with that. Obviously haven't tried the highlighter. Let's give it a quick swatch. Let's give it a quick swatch. Oh, okay. I have a feeling I'm going to like that too. Well, all right then. So yes, that's this little cool calling palette. The CDE highlight, it says on here, blush. It is like a a highlighting blush, blush topper. Um, the packaging on this is just so super cute. I'm in love with it. Uh, this is the shade 01 hashtag. Super cute the design of it i just think is stunning i think it looks really beautiful kind of almost more luxurious looking um and it is stunning it is just beautiful i would definitely recommend this if you're looking for a really nice glowy blush it is stunning so yes that's beautiful and then for highlighter, the Handayan Diamond Highlighting Powder in the shade 03. This, wow. It's beautiful. I'm sure they can see me from space. It is stunning. I love this. I may even have to pick up some of the other colours of this because this is beautiful. The Aviol Eyeshadow Primer um in the shade 02 hashtag medium um this was really nice actually i was quite impressed by this it is more of a consistent uh, concealer consistency um but it's really nice and tacky eyeshadow applied really nice over it so definitely going to be testing this out some more because it's extremely affordable and yeah but what can i say i actually really like this um the Handayan Glitter Primer, I was actually really impressed with. Um, it didn't, when I squeezed it out of the tube, I didn't expect it to look how it looked. I think I was expecting the clear kind of, but yeah, it worked so nicely. It was really tacky and yeah. I, I recommend it. I like this. Um, The Ting Fi, I don't know how you pronounce that, the Glam Palette. This really, really surprised me. Really surprised me. I did not expect the eyeshadows to perform as well as they did. The mattes especially. Um, no patchiness, pigmented, buildable, not too pigmented, so they'd be really good for beginners yeah i was i was impressed um i did need to use a fluffier flat brush to pick this up um but then it it applied beautifully it is very chunky so if you don't like chunky textured then you probably wouldn't like that that one there are a couple that are the more smoother consistency um, but yeah, overall, I was really impressed with this. Surprisingly so. The Vincina Brow Shaping. This, actually, I was really impressed with, like, the consistency. It's really kind of, it's almost like it sticks down the brow hairs you've got as well. And I think it performed really beautifully. Um, the colour is too warm for me i it's really throwing me that i have warm toned eyebrows um but yeah 
the actual product itself I was quite impressed by and I may have to pick this up in black just yeah to give it a really fair go this brush actually worked nicely I think which also really surprised me um yeah I wouldn't say it did it exactly like in the pictures on the website but I think it did a good job the Bobaini eyeliner I was really impressed with this it was really easy to use super black yeah no complaints with that whatsoever as yet obviously we'll see how it wears throughout the day but yeah I'm loving it so far the vicious Mascara from 3Q Beauty. Yeah. The packaging. I'm a sucker for this. I think it's so cute. I love it. Um, it performed nicely. It's just the size of the wand. It's like the size of my whole eye. Um, but I did, I did enjoy it. I think it did... An, pretty good job I'm not a big mascara person because I like my falsies um but yeah I just can't get over the size of that wand then we have the move lashes and the well we'll go with the lashes before I mention the glue these lashes if you are looking for more natural looking pretty lashes a bit of a flare th these are beautiful they are really beautiful lashes. They were easy to apply and they look really natural. Um, if that is the look you're going for, then I would recommend these. I think you would love them. If you are like me and you like your big dramatic lashes, these are not that. These are not that. They are natural. They are beautiful. So yeah, I, I rate them. But for people that love a natural look, the eyelash glue the waterproof eye eyelash adhesive this worked really well yeah just wait and see if it lasts you know how long it lasts if they remain stuck on for hours um obviously i haven't tried it with any of my bigger more dramatic lashes so i don't know how how well it would work with them but for these it worked really well so so far really happy with that these however are flimsy and yeah i don't i don't love the the tweezers no jace you cannot eat mummy's lunch um <laughs> these are flimsy and yeah not a fan they will be going in the bin but so far i like this and then finally the lipstick the nice face lipstick in shade 16 this is really comfortable it's not overly drying i love the color just wait and see again how long this lasts but yeah so there were some hits some misses bit of confusion yeah overall i'm really happy and i really enjoyed most of the products as you will have seen and i'm really happy with the overall look let me know what you guys think um erica thank you so so much for collabing with me again i love collabing with you this was so much fun to do and i cannot wait to watch your video and to see the chimu products pitted against the favorites that's going to be so much fun to watch guys again if you don't know who erica is please head over to her channel check her out because you will love her you will love her and this video the Timu versus the favourites is going to be a great one. I cannot wait to watch it. So, Erica, thank you so, so much. I love you to pieces, my beautiful sister. And, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you've come over from Erica's channel, if you're new here, thank you so much for coming over and hanging out with me. I appreciate you so very much i really hope you've enjoyed this and if you have that you consider subscribing sticking around and hanging out with me some more that would be so much fun and i would appreciate that so much um so yeah guys thank you for watching 
I hope you're all having a great day, great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye. Yeah. Stepping in the spot like she own it. Looking like the world is your runway. She can set it off like a gunplay. Oh my. Yeah. Talk of the city with the body. Always getting praised like it's Sunday. She said, baby, what you gonna do by?